Illustrating History The work of one of the most important composers in the history of music emphasizes not only technical complexity, but the intensity of human emotion. He was considered to be a poet of the piano, the Polish Frederick Chopin. Chopin was born in 1810 in a small village called Zelazoa Wola near the city of Warsaw. His father was French and his mother was Polish. The combination of French and Polish cultures is the strongest characteristic of his work, blending the elegance of French aristocracy with Slavic traditions. Chopin started taking piano lessons from his older sister, Ludwika, when he was little. But soon, he was taking private lessons from a famous Czech pianist, Wojciech Zilny, who recognized his pupil's great talent. At the early age of seven, Chopin was already composing his first pieces and was acclaimed in Warsaw as a child prodigy. He was a very happy and fun child. In addition to his great talent for music, Chopin was also a skilled portrait artist. Legend has it that he once surprised a teacher by drawing him perfectly during class. He was also a talented writer, but music was always his greatest passion. When he was 19 years old, just three weeks after completing his studies at the Warsaw Conservatory, Chopin participated in a recital in Vienna and was extremely successful. In 1830, at the age of 21, Poland was occupied by the Russian army after an uprising. Chopin was abroad when it happened and would never return to his beloved homeland. Chopin loved Poland so deeply that he used to carry around a bag which contained a handful of Polish soil. Chopin moved to France, where he conquered the world for good, building a career as a teacher, interpreter, and composer. Due to his poor health, at the age of 39, Chopin died in his apartment at Place Vendôme in Paris. His funeral ceremony was held at the Madeleine Church, and it darkened the City of Lights. Chopin had become a legend. Some of his Polish friends brought jars of Polish soil to cover his grave at Père Lachaise Cemetery so that he could rest on Polish soil forever. According to his final wishes, his heart was removed, placed into a crystal urn, and taken to Warsaw by his sister. It remains there today, inside one of the pillars of the Holy Cross Church. In over 250 pieces composed by Frédéric Chopin, the piano always takes the leading role.